Sun of Times episode 464 from the Sun Disclosed Bench near some tennis courts. Look at that, right below is some tennis courts. Much like the tennis court Casey Carlisle and I visited in a previous episode, but it's not that one. Although it could be, because that was undisclosed. I bet a lot of tennis gets played there. John McEnroe may have played on that court. I don't know, he could have. It's possible. Maybe Chris Everett? I don't know. Or the people who love the snaps. Look at this. My Beetle Bailey mask. Look at that. Beetle Bailey. Not sure what QT Vokes' his favorite Beetle Bailey character is, but I'm going to guess Otto the Dog. Now, Beast Barnett, he's probably a fan of Zero, but I don't know. There's Chicken Bob. Look at that. Chicken Bob. Very excited to watch some tennis over there. I'm sure t Chicken Bob loves tennis. Probably loves it. JB Moonshine shirt. You can buy this from JB Moonshine if he happens to be like in front of you. You can email him for prices and then not buy the shirt because he's got no way set up to buy it. Although he hired a secretary and is trying to get her to set that up for him. Pamphlet for the sign of the times. Every show needs a pamphlet. Book I got for QT Vokes from the little free library. I'll give it to him the next time I see him. Lullaby Town. He probably looks forward to that one. He's probably anticipating it hugely. Book I'll give to Petrov if I ever see him. There's like a 26.5% chance I'll see Petrov again. But he might be busy playing tennis. Not down on those courts because I don't see him down there. But that'd be great if he was. Russians play tennis, I think. Current book I'm about to start reading. Where the Wild Coffee Grows by Jeff Kohler. I think Seymour Snot would love this book. He'd probably love it. Now, we found out earlier in the week that Kurt Frazes never had a cup of coffee in his life. I don't know what's wrong with his life, other than he has not had a cup of coffee. He should change that and read this book, Where the Wild Coffee Grows. QT probably eking at the fact that Kurt Frazes never had a cup of coffee. Speaking of Seymour Snot, there he is. Proud member of the Gouge roster, and I'm sure a fan of this book, Where the Wild Coffee Grows. Maybe he will read the book and give us a book report on it. That'd be nice. Here's what it looks like inside the law office of Stephen P. New. Get even with Stephen, people say. Here is where the motel was where Ken Pater and Masa Saito got in trouble. There is the McDonald's that caused all the trouble. You see, Ken Hamlin was trying to throw a rock through the window to see if they would come to his hotel and start macing him in the face and dragging him out. The Twitter, where you can follow me, but not literally, much like golfer John Daly does, but not literally, he's not down there playing tennis instead of playing golf and following me, but that'd be nice. Also, much like Ian Bear does. They both do. Facebook, the Instagram, the YouTube, which you might be watching right about now. Right about now, you may be watching it on the YouTube. And then later, you might YouTube some famous tennis matches, like maybe the Billy King match, or maybe, like, watch the 1980 French Open. I don't know. CAC program. CAC didn't happen in 2020. Supposed to happen in 2021. We'll see. Autograph picture of Kevin Sullivan. There's Paul and his buddy pal John Lennon. Back in 1978, I believe. Still no word officially on Paul's favorite John Lennon song, although I still say probably woman. There's Paul and his freak show. On Zach Winter. Paul and his niece, Casey Carlisle. You can get pictures like that available at KeseyCarlisle.com. That's KeseyCarlisle.com, home for all your gift-giving needs. King Day approaching. Some of those would be nice. Valentine's Day rapidly approaching. Some of those would be great. Those are available. Some of those. Some of those. Even some of those. There she is if you're smaller. There she is, if you're like QT and you love pillows. There she is with a whole wall of title belts. There she is with a single large title belt. There she is angry. Other members of Team Bad, and he's still waiting on that picture 
of Ryan Rube. He said he would send one if he could find one of his old promo pictures. Hopefully he does. That'd be huge. Well, this week, a busy week. Later today, I'll be watching this guy, Moose. In the main event of Hard to Kill, Alex Shelley out. Moose is in, apparently. But we'll see what happens there. Interpromotional match. Kenny Omega, the AEW World Champion, Rich Swan, the Impact World Champion, all on the same match. When was the last time we saw a World Champion versus World Champion on a pay-per-view? Probably like the Invasion era. I don't know. On Sunday on Turnbuckle Turmoil, we have the return of Jared Savage. He'll be back. He's been to the Gathering of the Juggalos where he broke his leg. QT might ask him that, or he might ask something Lance Dean puts into his head, like, what is your favorite color of bed sheets? I don't know what Lance Dean will want to ask. He's a strange individual. On Monday, maybe I'll watch some old tennis matches. Maybe I'll watch a live tennis match down there. I don't know. We'll see. On Tuesday, maybe I'll read some of my book and go get a cup of coffee. That'd be nice. Wednesday, maybe I'll watch some old Portland wrestling. Thursday, I'll probably read some more of that book and have a, another cup of coffee and maybe watch even more Portland wrestling. On Friday, coming back to the show, QT's favorite, Diaphil of the Butcher, Debashi. Debashi, huge fan of Welcome Back Cotter character, Juan Epstein. Maybe Debashi will read us some of his favorite letters from Epstein's mother. That would be huge. But the review from this undisclosed bench, really close to some tennis courts. You could play like three matches simultaneously right there. But Sunday, we have Jared Savage coming back from Northwest Pro. Monday, probably grab a cup of coffee. Tuesday, read some more of my book with a cup of coffee. Wednesday, watch some Portland wrestling. Thursday, some coffee and some Portland wrestling. And then, Friday we'll have Diafula Debashi. Debashi might have an opinion here on Moose. Maybe Debashi has fought Moose before. I don't know that he hasn't. But pretty much 464.